Well, one is superior tax administration. Like retail sa sales taxes, VATs have inherent sell, uh, incentives for businesses to report sales. We can't have a high rate retail sales tax because people will just go around the taxation. It won't work. Anytime you go to above 10% and you don't have incentives for businesses to stay in the formal economy and for consumers to stay in the formal economy, you start getting leakage. And what does that mean? That means you have to raise the rate even higher to go ahead and, and raise the same amount of revenue and that means that people keep evading more and more and it's this downward cycle. It just doesn't work. You need to have incentives for businesses to stay in the formal economy. The second problem is business to business transactions. If I'm a bar owner and I go ahead and I purchase a TV in my bar, I shouldn't pay taxes on that TV. That's an investment. But in the United States, that bar owner does. And this happens all the time. Theoretically, it shouldn't happen, but it does. And up to 40% of the sales taxes raised in this country are raised on business to business transactions. And what does this do? This raises the price of investment for businesses. And this is problematic. That doesn't do that because businesses can always go ahead and easily get a rebate for any type of good they've purchased. The whole VAT burden should and is passed on to the consumer. And there is evidence that switching to a VAT can raise business investment because it reduces this problem of business to business ta transactions. So Canada, which adopted a VAT about 25 years ago, had this nice natural experiment. Canada has provinces, the United States has states, but they're similar. And so in Canada, what happened is that uh, the provinces had the option of harmonizing under the national value added tax. They could also keep their retail sales taxes if they wanted to, provinces were given the option. And so some economists looked at what happened to business investment in those provinces that went ahead and adopted a value added tax. And what they found was that controlling for all these other factors, the business investment in the provinces that chose to adopt a value added tax, that chose to harmonize, their business investment jumped by 12%. Why? Because investment was less costly, because you're not paying these business to business fees. So there is empirical evidence that, that uh, introducing a VAT can lower the cost of business investment and that there can be jumps uh, and gains in, in regional economies. Um, secondly, VATs tend to be less costly to administer than income taxes, although uh, adding a VAT onto the income tax code, in addition, this isn't replacing it, uh, we might be able to lower t uh, income tax rates, could increase overall tax administration in the United States. Um, but compared to an income tax, a VAT is superior. Secondly, improved economic efficiency. So what do we mean when economists talk about efficiency? They're usually talking about distortions. They're usually talking about uh, taxes that change the way we behave, that change what way we choose to spend our time or what we choose to, to purchase. Uh, an income tax is distortionary in the sense that it not only induces us to uh, perhaps work less because we're being charged on, on uh, our labor and also our investments, but it also decreases incentives for saving. Economists love VATs because it doesn't tax saving. If I choose to go ahead and save a portion of my salary, invest that in the economy, and then consume in retirement, a VAT doesn't penalize me for doing that because it's a con consumption tax. But an income tax, which charges uh, a tax on much of my return throughout these years when I'm saving, we do have capital gains taxes and taxes on uh, dividends that disincent saving because taxes are charged along the way. Um, a VAT does not distort business investment or business organizational form, while a corporate tax does. Uh, over the past two or three decades, we've seen businesses shift away from the corporate form towards what we call pass-throughs. A lot of this is due to tax reasons and businesses are trying to avoid the corporate tax. It may make legal sense for businesses to incorporate, but they don't want to pay the tax, the corporate tax. They don't want to pay a double tax on, on corporate dividends, so they'll go ahead and, uh, and, and form as a, as a partnership uh, to avoid taxation, and that's inefficient. You want businesses to choose how they're going to organize based on legal reasons, not based on tax reasons.